Hi, I'm Joe Foner. And I'm Paul Hood. And we are Foner, Foner and Hood. Hood. And today we're going to review Hack of Valor, which is about uh, Navy SEALs operations. And uh, was it directed by some ex Navy SEALs? It stars some ex Navy SEALs. Actually, and it was, current yeah, Navy it was directed SEALs. by yep. um, Scott Wall and Mike Mouse McCoy. Um, fairly new. I've never really heard of these directors. Yeah, I think it was like a first shot deal yeah. for both of them. They just happened to be involved with with uh, the military in some yeah. way, and it's it's really uh, a really good action film. It's it's pretty much straightforward action. Um, we're not getting Shakespeare in theater here, so um, that's going to be our review today. And and we'll start out by getting into a you know our point counter. I'll elaborate a little bit. Um, yeah, the, the concept behind the film was that they wanted to use real and ex and current Navy SEALs. In fact, I read a little bit about it. It said that some of the SEALs had to like go back on active duty in the middle of shooting, and so they had to delay shooting somewhat. But they're basically trying to present a, this is what we do on a regular basis uh, you know, to help protect the country, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and they used, you know, they used actual military personnel. Uh, I don't know if these actual military weaponry. I think they use live rounds. Yeah. The right. point of the film yeah. really was to try and get you to, well, the, to portray to the audience, well, show the audience basically what goes on, on you an know, op. on an yeah. on an op, right. and yep. the and operations move yeah. probably just as fast as they were portrayed in the film. So, right. so it's pretty accurate. Yeah, I mean, um, I will say some good things about the film. Uh, the first part is is if you like action films, this is your this is your gig, uh, definitely. I'm not typically an action film type, but I appreciated how they used the situations to build up the drama and the intensity. Some of the you know some of the scenes were a little bit like a roller coaster. You get that rush, like you're watching the end of a football game or something, and um, the drama was really well developed. Yeah. Um, to Paul's point, yeah, we're not going to get. You know, great theater or Shakespeare. Either, they so. tried to push some emotion. In. Yeah, there actually, wasn't much it, it did kind of kinda get yeah. kind of strong toward the end, but you know, it's after you know a lot of shooting and punching. I right. Guess. What did, who did you think the strongest character was? I mean, I know we had was obviously you know, it was uh, the character that played uh, well the, the chief. chief. Yeah, they didn't um, really have a lot of names in this movie. Yeah, it was just like, uh, it was hard to keep don't track expect. It's particular. almost like. They were trying to keep everything a secret, such as like you know what the seals would do on a. And you have to wonder. Basis. It's like they don't want to call people their actual names. You yeah. don't want to give away actual ops. This has to have been like an operation that was either like derived from something mm -hmm. else, or maybe it was done like you know 20 years ago yeah. or something. I think that's where they went wrong because they didn't really build up the characters and have you connect emotionally to them enough and you need that to right? care yeah. and you know to care about what happens yeah to, to make a movie strong you have to balance um the right. if you're going to have you know action adventure you got to balance it with something emotional which a lot of movies struggle you know right to do that's nowadays. i mean that's a concept in reading too yeah. is like you want to make a character some somebody relatable that that's people's access point into the movie is the character that they relate to, that they care about, and if that, you know, if there's no characters like that, why are we watching? Yeah. I mean, you could have like a, like the rest like of the crew pop, was yeah. kind of just like garnish. They were just right. there. You they know, were just there to. I mean, typical tough guy Navy SEALs, and, you know. Right. Um, well, I've said it before. Like this, this is, uh, you know, my expectation wasn't necessarily like to go in and see like, um, you know. Lawrence Olivier or something. I keep on using the Shakespearean theater. That's as far away from this as I can get. Yeah. But that that's the point. They're not aiming to be that. So I give them, you know, I'll give them a little bit of leeway for that. I, w I will say, though, you know, on the negative side, um, like the villains, pretty cardboard. I mean, yeah. you want them to be somebody you can hate. Now, I didn't really hate either of them. The guy, the... The, the interrogation scenes were yeah. great. Those uh, were great. Strong points in the movie uh, when the, the main... Um, Christo. Op, yeah, Christo was yeah. being interrogated. That's a great right. scene. But he looks like the villains we've seen in yeah, movies. Yeah, he looked kind of like um, his name, Ron Silver. Yes, he looked, he looked like. like a strung out Johnny Depp. Okay. I thought he looked like, like Ron <laughs> Silver with the beard. His his counterpart, the Russian, with, with the shaved head and the beard, terrible. I mean, I don't know if they're hiring him just to look mean or... Uh, what you know, whether he's got acting chops or not, but I I didn't get at any point in time that he was actually like a mean and vindictive and hateful person. Like yeah. he's supposed to be. From that perspective, like yes, you know, not not the greatest of films. Um, 
so I mean I think we have to kind of couch this at, as like a um, like a niche film yeah you know basically. like if you like action film uh, with with drama and suspense uh, or you're just uh, one of those military junkie types who like watch the history channel and watch the military operations all day then you'll love this film um, I liked certain aspects of it you know I'm hoping that they weren't trying to make it something other than what it is, which is just a Well, movie. for all you junkies out there that enjoy uh, action-packed movies, go see Act of Valor. So that's right, that's your take. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, um, so, I mean, so there are good things and bad things about this film. Yeah. So, um, okay, so, you know, now we come to a point where we're, I mean, we've kind of, like, alluded to it already. I would say, you know, this is like a kind of a wait-and-see from the standpoint mm -hmm. that if you like films of this genre, go see it. Um, if you want to see like character development and plot development and ups and downs and uh, plot arcs and you know that sort of thing, then probably not for you. Yeah, this so, is a, not I mean, a rounded. I made it through it. It's not a rounded yeah. film. It's pretty much your basic. Like, a little bit of emotional connection. They try to draw you in uh, with the chief and the wife, uh, with the ex uh, you know right. the child on the way and everything. But which incidentally was a I don't want to say unsubtle bit of foreshadowing but you had to know the whole film yes and we're not going to give anything away by saying that but yeah we we'll don't we don't spoil yeah. that's not what we do here <laughs> so so uh it's kind of a wait and see for me what what do you think kind uh of, i would say you know uh wait, see it if you wait like and it. see it yeah. you know go see right. it check it out on netflix go to the theater if you're really into this type of film but uh don't right. expect much and you're going to get exactly what is advertised which right I respect their honesty. <laughs> right. Yep. They're so, not. Yeah. They're not trying to make anything that isn't. Hopefully. Yeah. So you've been watching our review of Act of Valor, and uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Phoner and Hood Movie Reviews, as well as the accompanying video on YouTube. And also be sure to read my uh, review this week on PenLive.com at Film Clips for Film Clips with Paul Hood. So, and so this has been Phoner at Hood. I'm Joe Phoner. I'm Paul Hood, and we're out. And we're out.